Deirdre, I'm going to start with you, because one of the things that came off of that call was the possibility of increased spending, increased investment in 2019. I want to pull up a chart of Honeywell. That stock is higher today. It reported earnings. One of the reasons, because of warehouse automation, one of their biggest customers, Amazon. How much of that <laughs> increased investment could be around things like logistics and transportation? That's certainly something that they singled out. I think that you saw exactly what happened as soon as the CFO, Brian Olsowski, mentioned that 2019 was really going to be another investment year, whereas 2018 they reaped some of the rewards of earlier investments. You saw the stock drop off. It's things like logistics. That was a high cost in the last quarter. It's also things like expanding internationally and getting its market share and advertising new businesses. But I think what is a concern for investors is that they've become accustomed to these greater profits from Amazon. 2018 saw three quarters of record profits, over $2 billion. Amazon essentially highlighting that going forward, they're going to be spending more, to be honest, typically like the Amazon that we've seen of the past few decades. And Farhad, your thoughts on how Amazon is investing right now? I mean, even those comments around the Echo Dot uh, and, and the um, virtual assistant piece of this, how much of that is driving continued growth for Amazon? Um, I mean, I don't think it's driving huge growth for the company, but it's, it's a key part of their future, right? The, the idea for um, Alexa, for, for the virtual assistant, for sort of their entire device range is to keep you closer and closer, like hooked into the Amazon ecosystem. I mean, I notice it. I buy much more from Amazon because of the Echo, because I can just reorder things, um, put them on a shopping list. And I feel like that's their long term goal with that. And I mean, I think it's working. Um, and, you know, in terms of the investments, this is, you know, as, as you said, this is the. Uh, the way that Amazon has always operated, and there's been this sort of like odd time in the last few years where they've shown a profit, but that's not that's not the Amazon way. The Amazon way is to keep spending, to keep expanding, and I feel like that's you know that's the that's the plan going forward, at least for this year. Farhad, there's this weird dichotomy. At least it's weird to me that I'm seeing. We got Amazon getting all this praise for like the Echo and the Echo Dot and Alexa, but at the same time, basically admitting they're not making any money selling those. I mean, yeah, it helps the ecosystem. They're not making any money. Apple, on the other hand, getting criticized for not having invented the Echo, and it's selling tons of iPhones for big profits, but not as many as they used to, and people are saying Apple can't innovate. How does that go? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the Apple Watch is another good comparison. I mean, I think they've probably sold more Apple Watches than Amazon has sold, and they've definitely made money, more money on Apple Watch than uh, Alexa. But, you know, Alexa is the hot new thing. I also think it's, it's, you know, Amazon has never really tried to make money in the device business. It's always been about, uh, you know, tying you into the ecosystem. And this looks like one of those they things that really could work. wanted to make really money on that work. phone. Yeah, it's true. Um, I mean, Apple's business model is to make money on devices, so it's a you know I, I think it's a it's a legitimate um, criticism of Apple when they uh, when their hardware device business slows down. But you know, for Amazon, this is just all kind of on top of the retail and on top of the cloud business. It's another one of those things where like they think of something out of left field and everyone follows, um, and that th I think that's another reason there's this sort of excitement around um, around Alexa. Hey, you sound like you want to chime in here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think the reason that Amazon is able to get away with, you know, not making profit on its devices is because they have these high growth, um, high margin businesses like AWS, which was very strong in the past quarter. Also, they've been building out their advertising business, which has been growing in the triple digits over the last three quarters. So it did decelerate a little bit this last quarter, but that enables Amazon to get away with a lot of things that I think other companies haven't. At the same time, look at the valuations, right? This is a point that a lot of analysts have brought up um, this morning on our air. Amazon is valued much more richly in terms of its P.E. ratio than an Apple, um, yet its margins, and it's not making as much money. It's not making as much profit.